There seems to be quite a lot in there. Can't see what it is. So we're just going to get it on board. But will the slippery cargo contain the surviving relative of the buzzsaw killer? The creature which might be the strangest and deadliest river monster of all time. What was this? This is the fish that I was after, and I'm handling it with these gloves because it's got a sharp, venomous spine on the dorsal fin there. This is the spook fish, the ghost shark, also known as ratfish. I've never seen anything like this anywhere in the world. It belongs to a group of fish called chimera, which uh, in Greek mythology, the chimera was part lion, part goat, part snake. And looking at this, it does rather look like an assemblage of different fish all stitched together, like Frankenstein's monster. Strange as it is, it is actually related to sharks. But its lineage diverged from the rest of the sharks that we see today a long, long time ago. The reason I've got my hands on this creature is to find clues to the buzzsaw killer's body. It has certain similarities. It's got cartilage for the skeleton. Uh, the skin is very similar, small little tooth-like denticles. Did the buzzsaw killer have the same spooky eyes to see in the dark ocean depths? The ratfish doesn't have a tooth whirl, but it does have fused blades in its mouth, so weird dental hardware runs in the family. It does look very strange, but it fits perfectly with where these fish live and what they feed on. They're down there on the bottom, and they're feeding on things like shellfish, crabs, and worms. Pulling up the ratfish from the depths has shown me how alien and bizarre the buzzsaw killer's family is. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.